Hey everyone, this is Caleb, and today I think it's going to be a pretty quick video on tree science and about my future tree farm, which is going to be over there. Uh, so I've done a little experimenting with trees, and I've found that the minimum blocks, so uh, you place, for example, a normal tree sapling. And then you can place oops, uh, one, two, three, four, five, five, six blocks above that sapling. You can place a block there, and that is the max or the minimum height a ceiling can be to this sapling, and it can still grow. If that made any sense, which I, I think it did. <laughs> uh, so yeah, this is all experimenting for my tree farm. And so I found that uh, there has to be five air blocks and the sixth one the tree can grow. So I found that it is six blocks, this height, for both jungle saplings and uh, regular oak saplings. Saplings, rather. Uh, it's seven blocks for birch wood, which surprised me. I thought that uh, the oak trees would be more... Uh, they'd have to go higher than birch trees, because like 99% of the time you could cut to the birch's top without jumping up on another block. Um, and eight blocks is the maximum for uh, dark wood trees. To grow, uh, if any of that makes any sense. And from this, I sort of made a thingy, not a thingy, but a system that I can use to grow trees and sort of have it modular so that all types of trees can grow from this. Uh, so we'll have this here. Uh, and I haven't built this yet, so I'm sort of going off. There'll be one piston here. Uh, one, two, one here. One, two, one here. One, two, one more. So this thing is sort of like a module that I can use uh, to grow trees from. Actually, that might have to be one lower. We'll see. Uh, let's build this one, and let's build it right here. So I think... Huh. Actually, I'm going to have to redo that. Jump back down. Uh, that's going to have to be right there. I'll just build a staircase. And then up here, there is going to be sticky pistons, uh, if I could get them. So that's one, two blocks in between each tree. So another goes right there. Uh, two, three. Another goes right there. Two, three. And the final tree goes there. I'm just doing it four, uh, every four. Oops, for only four pistons right now because I only have four pistons on me of each type. And I need each type. Uh, and then I think I need to extend that one more. So this is a fairly simple piston mechanism, or fairly simple wiring for a full tree farm, a uh, modular tree farm I should say, because that's kind of what it is. There'll be a piston there, piston there, piston there, and this will be higher in the sky uh, when I actually build it. So that 
when I actually build it, these first pistons will be eight blocks off the ground. Uh, just like this tree needs. Uh, when I need it, when I want to grow birch trees, I will be able to press so in my inventory this and it doesn't work, which is fantastic. Yay! Did I even put redstone up there? I don't think so. Uh, okay, that was smart. <laughs> uh, it's late, I'm tired. So, there's a problem. Hmm. hmm. Oh, I see. These are... that's activated too. It's weird. So I thought that... Is this glitching out? So what I'm trying to do is get these pistons to go together so that when they're in this position uh, this piston will be eight blocks off the ground allowing this tree to grow. Uh, when I flick this lever why did only that work? Hmm there must be some weird diagonal search. Yeah there's some weird stuff going on. Uh, so, what I want it to do is that when this piston is in the correct placement, this tree will be eight, or the piston will be eight blocks off the ground where that block is. So the sort of forest biome or snow biome tree will be able to grow. Uh, when I flick the top lever, these sticky pistons should go off. Uh, then these pistons will be seven blocks off the ground allowing the birch tree to grow. And then when I flick the bottom piston right here, uh, it'll be... something moved. It'll be up to seven... or the bottom piston will be up to six blocks allowing this tree to grow. Uh, I'm not sure why it's working. I'm gonna stop recording for a second and have a closer look. Okay, I'm done. I've found the problem. Uh, this wire up here, or no, the lever up here, was uh, powering the wire because it was directly under it. So I just fixed it by putting a couple repeaters in. Let's make this interesting. Oh no! <laughs> uh, did I see... I thought I saw squids swimming around in here. Let me check that. Oh yeah, look, there he is. It's crowded, but... Oh yeah, it's... <laughs> That's awesome. Just a squid swimming around. Aww. Okay. Enough with the shenanigans. Uh, so I figured it out. Uh, what happens is that, again, for like the fifth time, this is eight blocks off the ground, lets this grow. I flick the switch, or it might be a button. Uh, these come down. So it is now lower these one block, so it's seven blocks off the ground. This can grow, or the pine trees can grow. And then finally I press this one, and it descends one more It'll be six blocks off the ground, so it'll let these two trees grow. Uh, I think it's a pretty cool and unique system that I have jumped up in my weird head. Uh, obviously there's a lot of prettying it up. I could even put like hide it in the ceiling and put uh, some nicer blocks than cobble there. So like you'll barely even be able to see the pistons. Uh, so yeah, I think this is really cool. Uh, oh, there's a problem. 
wouldn't retract if I believe if that's gone this won't so maybe I'll do a counter system where you hit a button once uh, oops I'll hit a button once and then these pistons go down hit it twice these pistons go down and then flick them both or flick it once more and then it'll go all the way back up uh, there's a lot of cool things oops, you can do with this, so pretty excited to try it out. Uh, and I guess I'll build, I'll start building that in my next video. Uh, I haven't done much around the house. Uh, I did replace this with glowstone lamps and added some more portercullis in here. Uh, I found some more zombie dungeons. Uh, this one, I believe, is the one where I almost died at last episode. So there's this one, there's this one, uh, there's one zombie over there, spider is way over there, and I found a skeleton uh, about 200 blocks past my house over there. Uh, but this is the tree farm, still needs some work on the floor plan. Uh, I think I'm just, I was thinking about it and I I think I just want to elongate it so that it's really, really long. Uh, at least this part is with all the... There are going to be like huge pillars here, or one block pillars, but they'll go up pretty high. Uh, and then I'll hide all that wiring in the roof. But I think this is going to be a cool building. It's definitely going to take a lot of clay, which I have a lot of. Let me show you guys something. Uh, so I was walking around my house. I was playing for about an hour and then I just walked through this door and caught a glimpse of a chest over there. I went to investigate. And I, I have a poem written for me. So I was lying about... Bleh, so I was lying about by the bay or maybe sit playing some croquet. I could have also taken a ride in a sleigh. Or stopping for coughing out of a cafe. Instead, I decided to bring you some clay. Hope you have a great day, Mary. Aww. Oh. 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 Where'd that clay go? Oh. Well. Oh, yes. I love you, Mary, so much. This is awesome. I think uh, I traded my friend Zombie Stein. Like 10 stacks of gunpowder for 10 stacks of clay uh, some time ago, and I'm still on his 10 stacks of brick. Uh, this is my brick stack currently. Oh, that's dwindling. I also bought a glowstone line, is here. Also, this is pretty much done. Uh, but I have in here. Some more glowstone. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All my slime balls, which uh, PR Baker gave to me. And uh... Helmets from the zombies I grind. All my coal. Never run out of it again. That was the worst feeling in the world. Uh, where was it? Yeah, uh... I got some of this, and my friend DTM gave me some of this. So... I'm good for clay for a while. That doesn't need harvesting right now. Oh, uh, what else? I've done a tiny little aesthetic thing here. Uh, oh, yes, I have two more things to show. Uh, I started working on this path. Uh, nothing too fancy, just some cobblestone and mossy every once in a while. I think it looks really, really nice. Uh, my portal's up there. Haven't been working on the fence too much. But uh, this is just plain cobble and it just looks too gray and boring. Uh, but then the Kossi really sort of brings it to life and the green matches the grass. So it's nice. I like it. Uh, also, I got two of these swords. Sharpness 4, knockback 2, looting 3. Very nice swords. Very handy. Uh, for any situation, whether it be PvP or not. Uh, and I have two of them, which is nice. 
on one other thing. I have this path that leads out of the back of the tree farm thingy. I'm not sure what to call it yet. And you can see in the distance there the pyramid is rising. Oh yeah, it's looking nice. This of course this is the bleh, <laughs> is the uh, zombie spawner from last episode. Uh, I think this looks really cool with the cobble and uh, stone bricks. Yeah, that's what they're called, right? Yeah. Uh, and then on top, eh, I guess I don't have to go up there. On top I have a couple of glowstone lamps uh, that sort of illuminate the top from the, uh, at a night, which looks really cool. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what to do with this. I saw a really cool uh, mob grinding thing that reduces them from to uh, half a heart using dispensers and lavas, but lava, but that won't be available until 1.3. Uh, once you come inside this pyramid, I really like this entrance with the stairs here and the brick back one and the cobble sort of pillars. I really like these two. I might put a lamp right here. Yeah, and here. Just to sort of smooth everything out. Uh, the button's kind of hard to see too. And you gotta sort of press it and run or else that'll happen, obviously. But I really like how the lighting changes in here. And all this is uh, upside down half slabs, so there's no risk of anything spawning in there. Uh, and here's the zombie spawn farm, pretty much the same as it was last time. This isn't the same pyramid as before. The other pyramid is like way above this. It's way taller. Uh, let's turn the lights off. I love that. And that uh, the glowstone in the ceiling is just far away enough to not affect it. Oh, and I think I didn't. I don't think I showed you this sign up. Beautiful day. No zombies at all down. Lights go off. Zombie invasion! I like that. Uh, but yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, here's the interior pyramid and there's the exterior pyramid. Way taller. You can see zombies. Oh, you can see in there. I didn't know that. I'll have to patch that up pretty soon. Uh, let's patch this up. It's two stone bricks and a stair. Yeah, that looks really cool at night too. Uh, but yeah, the server's been going good. There is talk of a reset for 1.3, and I'm honestly I'm scared of that. Like. I, I really like this build, and even though I haven't been working on it for, like, that long, I love this building, and I really don't want to lose it, so I'm thinking about, even when 1.3 comes out, like, find a place like this and just build like crazy and to replicate this pretty much exactly, and then just, I don't know scary and then starting my let's play again from start because I don't want to lose this place I like it a lot uh, one person on the server I showed it to him and he came back like two days out in a row after that just looking around and once saying that he had his friend looking on his computer and he wanted to show him my building so that was really cool I like that a lot uh, but yeah that's it for today. Guess I'm out. See you guys next time. Oh, one thing I'm doing, and I don't know if I like want to do this for fear of copying, but it's such a good design. Uh, I want to do the sort of mob uh, farm that Doc M built for his mushrooms. I've built it in a test world and figured out a way to harvest them so that they go under the ground and then pop out through here. 
so that I'll just have a big tower that I can feed and constantly restock this place. I've tried to make it work for pigs though, but these guys suck. They're really not good at that machine just because they're they're only one high and they can fit squeeze out of a bunch of places. Uh, so they're tough. Uh, sheep and mushrooms and cows are fine though. So yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time.